Hello, it's me, Coco, and whether you're vegan or not, I have the perfect recipe for chocolate cake. This cake is light, it's chocolatey, it's fluffy, it's delicious, it is all of your chocolate cake dreams come true, but without the super like heaviness or sweetness, but just trust me, it's perfect. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen, because this chocolate cake has not one, not two, but three chocolatey layers of vegan goodness. We got the cake, we got a a thin little crispy layer of chocolate, and then we have an easy, healthy vegan icing on top. I can't wait for you to see this because everybody needs to know how to make this cake in their life. It's super easy to make. It's actually kind of a cool kind of science experiment type of thing to make. Just watch. And it's made with things that you probably already have in your kitchen. So if you want to see how I made this perfect vegan chocolate cake, keep watching this video. Oh, and give it a like because who doesn't like chocolate cake? I mean, some people don't like chocolate cake, but you probably like chocolate cake. To make this recipe, you'll need flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, salt, a neutral flavored oil, apple cider vinegar, sugar, vanilla, and water. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Start by mixing your dry ingredients. You're gonna need two and a quarter cups of flour, half a cup of cocoa powder, and just like your chocolate, you wanna make sure that your cocoa powder is fair trade certified. Half a tablespoon of baking soda and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Whisk it all together. And get another bowl for your wet ingredients. To your wet ingredients, add a cup and a half of sugar, three quarters of a cup of a neutral flavored oil, one tablespoon of vanilla, and a cup and a half of cold water. Don't add the apple cider vinegar yet, that's for later. Whisk it up. And then add it to your dry ingredients. Oh man, <laughs> it smells so chocolatey already. Now, these are some very important instructions. Make sure that you have your rubber spatula ready, the pan is ready, and that your oven is preheated because this next part is gonna move really fast. Now, add a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Don't worry, you won't taste a thing, and mix it up. And you're gonna see that the apple cider vinegar is reacting with the baking soda in the cake batter. And it's gonna make it kind of like foamy. And you'll see these creamy white ribbons in the cake batter. Make sure that it is fully mixed so that the apple cider vinegar is fully incorporated into the batter. And then very quickly transfer it into a nine by 11 cake pan. Now you're gonna to wanna to bake it at 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes or until a fork comes out clean. All right, timer's up. Let's get this cake out of the oven. Oh yeah. Look at that perfection right there. That is a perfect cake and I'm gonna see Perfect, yes. Now, just like you, this cake is perfect just the way it is, but I'm gonna dress it up a little bit with this Alter Eco chocolate. This chocolate is vegan, it's fair trade, it's even climate neutral and B Corp, so I'm gonna just try something kind of crazy. I'm breaking up the chocolate into little pieces, and I'm gonna set it on top of the cake as it cools because right now it should be pretty hot. And I'm gonna use my rubber spatula to kind of spread the chocolate over the top. And what I'm going for here is that when the cake cools, it will have a crispy layer of chocolate right at the top. Now the chocolate is spread and I'm gonna let the cake cool a little bit before I put on the next layer. So my plan for the top of this cake is this really easy four ingredient vegan, 
what is it? It's a vegan, it's this really easy, healthy, vegan icing thing. And I needed almond butter. I actually just blended up some almonds that I had and it just kind of, it has the texture in the smell of Play-Doh. So I hope it turns out okay. <laughs> Let's just go on that little adventure of creating that right now. But just to be clear, the cake as it is, it's already good. I'm trying to make it better. And in the process, I'm hoping I don't make it worse. Let's see, you're gonna have to just stay tuned. I'm starting by adding half of a cup of this almond butter to a bowl. And I'm gonna try to microwave it to soften it up. Okay, it still has this weird, oh, okay. It's like a weird fluffy texture, but you know what? That might work pretty well for a frosting. I'm also gonna add a quarter cup of cocoa powder, three tablespoons of maple syrup, and five tablespoons of a non-dairy milk. And this is a cashew creamer that Ryan made for his coffee. I think it's just cashews and milk, but it's really thick. So I'm actually just gonna do three tablespoons of this plus one tablespoon of water, and then just for fun, <laughs> just cause we're crazy like that, just a little shot of coconut whip topping. All right, and then the idea is to mix this all up. So wish me luck, I probably should use a fork. All right, let's see how this turns out. Okay, it's starting to look kind of decadent now. Oh, my hand is getting tired. <laughs> Dude. My sound cut out for this part, but basically what happened was I came downstairs to check on the cake to see if it had cooled enough and saw that a little mousey got into the little corner. And you know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna freak out about it. I'm not gonna get upset or anything. It's not like I'm taking myself seriously or I'm a perfectionist about anything. It's not that this is a multiple step cake recipe that I'm trying to make epic for the gods. It's okay. But it turns out that it was their loss anyway because I wasn't finished with this part of the cake. I'm gonna pop it in the freezer for a few minutes, let that top part harden, and then I'm gonna put that luscious, dreamy chocolate icing on top that a little birdie might have also gotten into. But man, look at that, it's so shiny and good. I can't believe this turned out okay considering the almond butter that I started out with. And check out how smooth that spreads. Mm. This is gonna be so good. You guys, this is a perfect chocolate cake. It has three layers of perfect chocolatey goodness. We have the moist, fluffy cake on the bottom, that thin, crispy layer of mint chocolate, and then on top we have the fudgy, delicious icing. So I know you guys can't hear it or feel it, but I can feel the chocolate breaking and it just feels so satisfying. And look at this piece coming out. Oh my gosh. Now all I need to do is just taste it. Let's taste this puppy. Let's taste this cake. Check this out. We got chocolate cake people. Yes. You want to see me get into this? Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Do you see? Are you seeing how light and fluffy this is? And I know you, I don't know if you could tell, but it did have that little break when I got into the chocolate. Mm. It's so fudgy and it just has that hint of mint and like a little bit of crunch from the chocolate, but it's not like smack you in the face sweet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys like do yourself a favor in your life and make this cake. This is so good. Oh my God. This cake came out perfectly. <laughs> It tastes almost like a Thin Mint, but like, better. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Rest assured, it was my pleasure making this cake and it will be my pleasure eating it. I've got like two weeks left in this house, so let me know another thing. 
I got one or two weeks. I don't, <laughs> I don't have a lot of time left in this kitchen. So if there's anything else you want me to make, let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button if you're into vegan chocolate cake and hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more content from me. You know what I make videos of. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.